Hi, welcome to Jade Kind Gaming. My name is Adam, and today I will be unboxing Paranoia, Red Clearance Edition. Now, we will be going through the entire box, so actually you need ultraviolet clearance to watch this, and if you have begun watching it without ultraviolet clearance, you can resolve that issue by simply reporting to the nearest incinerator. But for those of you with ultraviolet uh, clearance, we can go ahead and take a look. Paranoia. Um, and this this came to be through a Kickstarter. I remember seeing the Kickstarter and I just couldn't afford it at the time or there were other things I was more interested in or whatever. I did not get it at that point. And it has now taken me several years to actually get it. Uh, just, just, a tad, just a tad of a zoom. But I had played one of the previous editions. Um, and it was quite fun. It was by Mongoose Publishing. Um, trust the computer. The computer is your friend. Um, you are a troubleshooter. Congratulations. As a troubleshooter, you are a member of Alpha Complex's most expendable elite force. Tasked with finding trouble and shooting it, you will be hunting mutants, terrorists, traitors, classified, secret societies, renegade bots, and DAIVs, which are redacted. You'll save Alpha Complex from its greatest threat, unless you accidentally become Alpha Complex's greatest threat. Side note one, uh, this, is, this is only to be expected in the best of all possible worlds. <laughs> all new mechanics include a simple yet brilliant character generation system, a bluffing based card driven combat system, a special computer dice, which means even the simplest interaction can be, become hilarious, hilariously fatal in game XP point rewards, and more advice to GMs than you can shake a stick at. Stick shaking leads to. Oh, that's such tiny tech. Uh, traitorous slash terrorist behavior and is correctable with laser field surgery. Everything is the same, but everything is different. Uh, if you don't understand how that's possible, then your cerebral core tech needs to be adjusted. Please stand still while your brain is turned off and on again. And more perfect than ever, how can perfection be improved? Bad information is not available at your secu security clearance. You look worried, citizen. Relax. This is the best of all possible editions of paranoia. You still have six clones and a very shiny laser pistol. The computer is still your friend. What could possibly go wrong? A guaranteed safe for all possible values of wrong. <laughs> um, the contents of the box are listed down here, but what fun is reading that list when I can open the box? All right. Dump all this out. So I have my contents list. <laughs> So we got stuff. Step one, player's handbook. That's gonna be one of these books. We got a player's handbook. And of course these are, you know, hand for scale. <laughs> these are small books. This is definitely a smaller form factor. Um, how to be a troubleshooter, character creation, basic mechanics, uh, Problems, <laughs> um, combat, using cerebral cortex, XP points, or better living through gamification, equipment, joining a secret society. Yeah. So here's the basic character creation and players playing side of thing. So also and just interesting that that way, nice. Red clearance book, easy for uh, you to hand over without the higher clearance material being tempting. Game Master's Handbook. This one here, which goes into introducing Alpha Complex, Game Mastering Paranoia, the computer, inhabitants of Alpha, Alpha Complex societies and secret societies. Um, Cerebral Cortex and Data Feeds, DAIVS, Equipment, XP Points, Number One Troubleshooter, 
running combat, working with NPCs, GM advice, creating adventures quickly, debriefing, service groups, useful lists and charts. So this is how to run the game, and because kind of the point with Paranoia is it's not designed for just playing whatever game you want. It is designed for playing... Oh, here's the, uh, the clearance. <laughs> um, you know, it's very much designed for their setting. Um, you know, that is, that is the, the point within this is if you're not really playing in their setting, then hmm, not really needing to play this. There's supposed to be some useful charts back here at some point. Fun things to do with the computer dice. Okay, well, so not, not quite what I was before, but yeah. So, um, like, I was hoping, like, real charts, not lists. So they say lists and charts. Really, they're, they're just lists, not charts. I like charts. <laughs> uh, missions book containing four complete adventures to thrill, fold, spindle, and mutilate any loyal troubleshooter. So... Title not found classified. Security clearance is not high enough for the title of this adventure. <laughs> so yeah, so this is some pre-made adventures, which also should help with getting the, you know, the feeling of how the adventures are supposed to go. If you have examples, and there are some um, pre-generated characters here. For quick start, um, there are 110 playing cards allowing you to bushwhack your pals, deploy awesome weaponry and redacted powers, and show off pretty pictures. Hmm. Yeah, we got cards. Um, Bonus duty, you are number one. Bonus duties end here, so I guess we start on this one. Okay. So we have action. Even better if we. These are all action. Okay, so these are all action cards. Fun is mandatory. Um, and the replace, unexpected boon, adaptive resources, whatever. Critical failure. <laughs> Something goes very wrong. D GM, you determine how. <laughs> uh, easy come, easy go. Action order three, whatever that means. And symbols probably mean something. I don't know. But uh, play on any face-up card on the table. That card is placed at the bottom of its respective deck. Whatever its in-game effects were, they no longer apply. Describe what happened to cause this turn of events. I'm thinking, draw three action cards, choose one, pass another to a player of your choice, place the third on the bottom of the deck. So it's sort of a card-based method of, sounds like playing the game. The, this is obviously very different. Is, Paranoia is technically a role-playing game, but... Well, yeah. So we have here our bonus duties. One is mandatory. Um, happiness officer, combat officer, uh, equipment officer, team leader, loyalty officer, science officer. So each of them telling what your jobs are. Um, for example, team leader is responsible for everything, and if things fail, it's all the leader's fault. Um, in my experience, one out of one time is even the leader's agreed, and well, been um, well, they've been redacted. That's what happened to him. Terrible as it may be. Um, so then we have. Oh no. We want to redact that word. Uh, equipment. Grenades, the mini guns, sniper rifle, 
Medkit. Taxi Pod. Needler. Cat Companion Bot. Fake Mustache. So, uh... We'll read Electro Knuckles. Action order, violence, plus three, small, level one. Add a die when you punch someone or intimidate them, and another dice if you want to electrocute them at the same time. Four charges. <laughs> so yeah, there's items. We have mutant powers, telepathy, electroshock, levitation, mental blast, Pyrokinesis, action order four, spend one, Moxie to start a fire anywhere close to you. It's difficult to start big fires, do it at a long distance, or set a moving target on fire, but you can do it at a pinch. So, I mean, I don't think mutations are a good thing to have, but, um, well, here's the powers they might give you. And then there are Secret Society cards. Anti-mutant group. Communists, uh, Death Leopard, Alpha Complex Local History Research Group, First Church of Christ Computer Programmer, Frankenstein Destroyers, Free Enterprise. You are part of the Illuminati. Uh, your be your beliefs, power and control. The agenda doesn't matter as long as the Illuminati is controlling it. Uh, your goals further the aims of the Illuminati. Get ahead at any cost. Infiltrate another secret society and subvert their agenda. Ask the GM which one. Recruit new members if they're suitable, suitably elite. <laughs> so yeah, you get and some no secret society. So I guess these could be used because I remember the secret society we were in was randomly given to us in the version we played. So that would be a way you could do that. Six-sided dice, each carefully checked by skilled infrared workers to ensure the elimination of any terrorist contamination. They're tiny. The computer dice, this is very special. So one, two, three, four, five. And then the six is the computer eye. Six character cards to ensure that no details are private. Oh, wow. These are... These are six. Oh, wow. Nope. They're all the same, yeah. These are incredibly... Like, these are, like, double-layer card stock. Like, this is... Like, this looked like it was a stack of a whole bunch of stuff. It's six... Six cards. Um... What do it be? Oh, man, it's perfect to have... You know, a few games do I think, Oh, yeah, I want an easy wet erase character sheet so I could wipe all the information clean. Paranoia, you want a nice, easy wet erase character sheet so you could get rid of your character and... Do a new one real quick. <laughs> Name, security clearance, home sector, clone number, gender, personality, trees and stars, XP points, violence, brains, shoot spa, mechanics, your skills, your moxie, wounds, memory, and your equipment. Spot on the back if you need to note more. Um, but yeah, um... So again, this is just looking at the components of the game, and it definitely looks like uh, a bit of a different, a different take on the game. It looks like what do I mean? It says um, what did it say in the back here? Uh, a bluffing-based card-driven combat system. So the combat system is different, unique, I suppose. And so that's why there are all the cards that there are, which is why it's a box set like it is. Um, but 
but paranoia is an interesting world, at the very least. And messing with the way mechanics are done in it, I suppose works. It's, it's one where, it's one, I hate to say, it's one where the game system itself doesn't matter as much. <laughs> um, because it is just sitting around laughing with your friends, dying and moving on to another quote. That's why you have a six pack. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's one that I you know wanted to pick up since I saw it on Kickstarter years ago. Does it give a year on here? Twenty sixteen. Yeah. So while back, a darkly humorous future upgraded for the post privacy present. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, I'll link where you can pick it up online, as I usually do. Um, if you have any, any good stories of playing Paranoia, whether this edition or another edition, talk about them in the comments, because, um, you can get some fun stories out of the game. Just saying, if you're, if you're the team leader and everyone says, well, team leader is the reason we failed... And team leader's like, you're right, I, sh I should take responsibility as the leader. Well, everyone but the leader came out of that one fine, so... That was Dustin's fault. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.